Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. This is my third video about pivot tables, and in this video I'll show you how to use pivot tables to create cross tabs. So let's take a look at the data. This is demographic data showing how many people were served by a nonprofit organization last year. And first things first, let's insert our pivot table. So we're going to click on the upper left hand corner, in this case cell A1, go to insert, click on pivot table, click OK, rename the sheet. We're going to call it pivot instead of sheet 15 or 16 and drag it to the end. That's right where I like it. Okay, so to create cross tabs, um, what I mean is that we're going to stack several of our variables in the row labels or several of our variables in the column labels. So let's say you want to know how many uh, males and females were served by the nonprofit. So we're going to take the gender variable and just drag it down into row labels. We'll take the ID number drag it down into values. It says sum of ID. That's wrong. We need to change that. So just click on this arrow right here, value field settings. We'll click on count instead of sum. And we know that we've got 579 females, 660 males, 33 blanks. And that makes for about 1,292 people total. Uh, let's say you want to know, um, how should we do this? Let's say you want to know by ethnicity. Okay. You could drag ethnicity into filter and you could just look at Latinos, for example, and you'd know that of the Latinos, of the 766 Latinos, you have 348 females, 387 males. Or you could take uh, this variable right here, and this is the, the pivot feature of it. You could just drag it into row labels. Right now it's under gender, so you see of the females, how many are Latino and non-Latino. Of the males, how many are Latino and non-Latino? And of the people who left the question blank, how many are Latino and non-Latino? Or we could drag it on top, okay? So we're gonna put ethnicity on top of gender. So now of the Latinos, how many are male, female, or how many people left the question blank? And of the non-Latinos, etc. You could put, let's see, ethnicity over in column labels. Um, now it's almost like a chi-square, you know, with, but without the significance testing. So you've got the gender in your row labels and the Latino and non-Latino ethnicity information in the column labels. So you say, let's see, we've got 348 people who are Latino and female, 387 people who are Latino and male, etc. And you can read across the table. If you want to get even fancier, you could pull in about a million other variables this gets extremely messy, um, almost meaningless at this point. There's just too much going on. But just to give you an example, you know, of how crazy you could make this look. Or if it is too crazy, just uncheck these boxes or just drag the variables and kind of put them back in the bank of variables that you have until you have exactly what you want. That's kind of the beauty of pivot tables is that you get to explore very, very easily. There you have it, creating cross tabs uh, using pivot tables.